On February 22, 1970, a 14-year-old boy named Keith Satsford snuck into a plane wheel compartment. This attempt was to escape from his home in Australia. Keith was in the desperate pursuit of getting away and been on the run for two days before getting inside the plane. Prior to this, he had troubles at home and was sent to a Catholic school to straighten him up. This would only last a couple of weeks before Keith acted on running away. It's not for certain if his destination was intended for Tokyo, Japan, but that's right where this flight was headed. Once he arrived at the Sydney airport, he made his move for the plane, a Douglas DC-8. Airports having less surveillance in the 1970s gave for an easier getaway. By pure coincidence, at the same time, an amateur photographer had been nearby to take pictures of the planes to test out his new camera. Keith had been in the wheel compartment for several hours before it took off. When the plane did take off, the wheel compartment reopened to retract its wheels and launched Keith out, falling 200 feet to his death. The photographer took several pictures and didn't realize he had one with Keith in the air until film development. Unfortunately, experts say that even if he had managed to stay in the wheel compartment the whole flight, the freezing conditions and altitude still likely would have killed him. This is American Geological Survey volcanologist David Johnston. This is the last photo of him taken 13 hours before his death from the eruption of Mount Helen. This tragedy occurred on May 18th of 1980. Johnston was the head of his monitoring team when Mount Helen erupted. Johnston transmitted over the radio, Vancouver, Vancouver, this is it. Immediately after, he was taken out by a vertical blast. David Johnston was never found, and Mount Helen is still considered the most destructive eruption in U.S. history. A bizarre note I'd like to share is that Johnston was a mentor and supervisor to another volcanologist named Harry Glicken. Harry Glicken was originally assigned to Mount Helen that same day before Johnston died, but was called out the evening before to a different position. At this time, Harry Glicken would live with survivor's guilt for the swap out and David Johnston being the only American volcanologist to die by eruption in U.S. history. However, in 1991, while conducting avalanche research in Japan, Harry Glicken would be killed by a pyroclastic flow. David Johnston and Harry Glicken are the two only American volcanologists to die by eruption. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I'm also interested if you have any feedback. Let me know if you have a preferred format, as I'm kind of experimenting with everything right now, trying different styles. I think my next video I'll concentrate on one story and add more detail. As always, thanks for stopping in, and take care.